Hi guys, in this video we're going to explain the CSV file import export option. So what we do is go to the apps section, go to SmartSend app and then the products tab. Now this uh, option will do two things. One, it'll allow you to easily update all the dimensions for your products in uh, in your Shopify store um, or in our app in the Shopify store. As you're aware, Shopify currently doesn't have the ability to store dimensions against products, so our app does. But obviously we, for people that have um, hundreds or thousands of products, um, it, it gets a little bit difficult to um, you know click on products and manually enter in the dimensions for each of the products. So what we've done is allow you to export a file, which can be done here. So it'll do that. Um, it'll export a file with all your products and it'll allow you to import uh, all the dimensions for them easily in one CSV file. The other thing it does is it allows you to add multi-item products. So if, for example, you're selling a gym set and that comes in three different boxes, currently there's no way to store three different boxes against a product in Shopify. So with this change that we've made um, and uploading the CSV file, you have the ability to do that. So I'll show you how to do that now. So you can either download the CSV file for all your products in the store or just for selected products, um, if you only want to update a few of them. And this is the option to actually upload the, the updated CSV file. So when you export the file, you'll, get, you'll receive an email like this and there's two attachments. And We'll start with the second one here. It's actually an instruction list. So apart from this video that you're watching, um, you can also just open this file up and it explains um, how to do um, those two things that I'll, I mentioned, adding dimensions and also adding multi-item products. Um, but I'll just quickly go through. So this is the attachment which has your, um, your product data. And so if we just expand these two columns here, I'll just go through the columns quickly. Um, not in great depth. Uh, okay, so the first one here is a product title. Um, as it says in these four, five, or six uh, columns here, it says do not edit. So um, these are purely what's what Sh Shopify has for each of your products. You know, product IDs, variant IDs, and so on, names. So you can't actually edit anything in these columns. Um, won't actually allow you to be e to edit it in our app because it has to, um, the one point of truth is actually Shopify. So we don't want to edit any of that data. Uh, it's purely th this data here that you you may want to edit and update in the in the app. So things like obviously the length, the width, uh, sorry, length, height, and depth of the product, um, the cost value of the product um, for transport assurance if you need that, um, the weight, the shipping class. Um, you know, cart and satchel, and so on. Uh, country. Of, this is for international services. Uh, country of manufacture, harmonised code, and serial number. Now, these two aren't um, compulsory. Uh, country of manufacture is. Um, so basically, what you would do is, uh, if for example, this product here, uh, new baby brand, baby pram, you want to change that. It's, you know, the box size has actually changed to thirty by forty by fifty centimeters, and it's now actually um, at one point eight kilo product um, you would change that there and the other th and you so you would go through and change each of these so you know if this shiny bangle is um, 10 whoops 10 by 10 by 15 centimeters and it's one kilo um, so you would change those there um, the other thing you can do as I mentioned earlier is you can um, add multi-item products so for example if this this product here new one too has um, another box it, it comes with. So um, what you do is just copy the, the row and, and paste it below. Obviously, if you have you know more than one, uh, if you have three items in this particular two kilo product, oops, sorry, um, let's try that again, you would um, paste it below again. So all, all you really need to do is make sure that this data here is the same, uh, sorry, this data here is the same and when you're copying the rows um, to make sure that this our system can figure out which which actual products you're trying to sorry, probably more like this this data here you're trying to change um, and basically what you do is then say okay so the first product is um, you know 30 by 40 by 50 centimeters and it's 1.1 uh, kilos the next box is uh, 20 by 20 by 20 and it's 0.4 um, so you would actually, actually enter in carton or whatever the shipping class is. And this final one is only a small item at 10 by 10 by 10 and it uh, makes up the 
a remainder of 0.5 kilos, and this one's actually a satchel bag. The actual shipping classes are explained in that other PDF document which I opened earlier in the email, so if you need to know what the description types are, that they're very um, specific on what you can enter there. Um, so that document will explain what you can enter as a shipping class. So now you've got um, a two kilo um, product for this, a new one too. And it, you know these are the three pieces of information that will be entered into the, uh, the system when we import it shortly. So I'll save that now and we'll get in and, um, and update that. Okay, the last step is to import that file. So we go down to the last option here, upload it. Edited product, CSV file, and uh, that's the file there. Click to upload. And it'll just basically give you a summary of what you've done. So we, we changed the, uh, the dimensions for that, a new baby pram one kilo product. So they're now 30, 40, 50 in the system, 1.8 kilos. If you want to check what was there previously, you can just click on click on the 30, 40, the highlighted blue section, and it actually lists what it, what it was previously, which was 20 by 20 by 1.6. If you click it again, it reverts back. The shiny bangles is, is, is uh, one of the other ones we changed. We made it 10 by 10 by 15 and one kilo. Again, you can click on that to see what it was previously. It was nothing. And the uh, two kilo, a new one too. Um, again, previously, uh, it, it was just, it didn't have anything stored against it. And now we've got um, the first item is 30 by 40 by 50 by 1.1 kilo. And the extra two items um, are added in there, which is makes the three items for that product. So if you're happy with all that, um, you click on confirm product changes and that will actually come up and uh, give you uh, a confirmation that what's been changed. And if, then if you go back into the products tab and uh, we'll just check that a new one too. Um, there it is there, so that's the, uh, has the different three items stored against that one product. Um, now just be aware that the 1.1 kilo um, still replicates what's in products in Shopify. Um, so th there's no way, because Shopify doesn't store multi-item products, we have to just have the, the main item as 1.1. Um, but rest assured, when shipping quotes are calculated and when fulfillment happens, we use this data here that's in the app. Um, which has the correct weight and dimensions against each item so that you are charged correctly for shipping um, and, and also three labels are generated, for example, for this product and not just one label. Um, so that's basically it.